unbelievable amount of wind. I've never had so much turbulence coming down. It's got a, got a laugh at the people going, oh, it's touching the walls. What's it called, sir? The cathedral. The name is Cathedral Major. Major, major, I guess. Yeah. Major, sure. big. You can say hello. This is, this is Chloe, yeah. everybody. Yeah, welcome. <laughs> oh, lucky me, eh? What a day. <laughs> First bus I got on. Met a lovely lady called Chloe. Uh, just spent the afternoon walking around Marseille. Uh, it's a new city for her as well, so I'm exploring this got to show everyone what she saw yesterday and the day before. It's cool, cool vibe. Uh, lots of big buildings in this. Tall, tall, grand, grand buildings. Quite a lot of dirt as well. It's quite, quite a lot of litter. But, you know, got some castles, got water, some mountains in the distance. Can't really complain. People seem nice on the, in the airport in particular. I was very impressed. Pretty friendly. They would have given me lifts, I think. They just weren't going in that direction. And yeah, straight away, nice person. So I don't think big highlight is just... Oh, Audi. Let's go to Audi. Yeah, you know, you create a vacuum, create some space, and it gets filled. Right, well, check this hostel. Cool little beds. Little curtain, even. Mad. <laughs> luxury, luxury. So now we're in Sistero. Uh, much nicer already. I love. I did like Marseille. It's a cool city. Uh, lots of culture. Lots of cool things to do. Look like some history buried under it. But yeah, lots of people. Pretty messy. Lots of litter. Very busy, so it's nice to be in more village sort of vibe. Got a very long bus here, quite expensive as well. I'm looking forward to getting proper hitchhiking, but in France it's just kind of not worth the effort. It's second day, I don't want to lose my motivation. Which yeah, keeps going in waves to be honest. Suddenly I'll like listen to a song and I'll be pumped up or read some inspiration and get all geared up, and then other times I'm sort of lulling. It's like quite enjoying the comfort of the warm coach, for example. Uh, but yeah, day two, so I'm sure I'll be settling in more and more. It's got some, got some mountains up there in the distance. Just heading to a fort over here. Yeah, catch up when I'm closer. Today going to be aiming to just talk to people more. Uh, not been doing bad at it, but. It's good to keep pushing, you know, it's getting easier and easier. Feeling more and more comfortable just saying hi to strangers. And always a good skill to have. Look at this craziness, this is the <clears throat> cathedral. It's a cool little village this already. Much prefer to Marseille. <laughs> a little bit quieter, less pollution, less dusty. Look at that. It's got a substance. It's awesome. This is like the France I'm looking for. Look at that. Okay, here we are. Found my first camping site. Got a little stream running off to our side there. Beautiful stars. The sky's full of them. Half moon. Yeah, all these spiky trees. It's not a problem though. I snap off really easily. I can just clear myself some space and set up the hammock. Here we are. Second day. 
first campsite. I'm feeling pretty cosy. Got a good, good length of sleeping bag and hammock. Pretty chuffed. Whew. Well, <laughs> fucking freezing. My lord. Can't say that was successful. <laughs> Probably slept for about three hours in total. It's now five in the morning. It was just too much. The, the bottom of the hammock leeches cold out and in. Alrighty, well, pretty chuffed for my breakfast. Managed to cook some rice with the fire and that thing. So, nearly time to make a move. Just waiting on some water to boil. Taking absolutely ages. And I'll probably need to find a new way of doing that in the future. But once it does, got a four hour hike ahead of us, maybe three hour, three to four hour hike up to Terre Rouge, the last, last leg of the journey. There we go. 10 kilometers, 5k, no, 500 meters up. Maybe a bit of a trek. I'm gonna try and do it in one burst. Kinda wanna just get the legs and back trained up a bit before I continue across Europe. It's a good opportunity to could probably just get a taxi, but yeah, you know, fun in that. And there's my bridge. Right, well, this is my current path. <laughs> there's a road a few seconds ago. It's me. Still like three hours to go as well. It's gonna be tough. Yeah, this is looking less and less like a path. But it says continue. Finally. <laughs> yeah, into the forest we go. We found the path again. Look at that. Oh, bloody hell. <laughs> that wasn't good. Right, I'm not a tracker. But that, and that, and that. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Hopefully, hopefully it's fucking humans. <laughs> Bloody hell. <sighs> Mistakes have been made. <laughs> Just come down from up there. No idea where the path is. No idea what's a field. Unbelievably steep. Bloody hell, out of that fucking snow. <sighs> so deep. Got me up to my ankles. <sighs> really fucked this. <sighs> just keep scrambling, letting, letting panic take over a little bit. And it's like, ooh, and I've just run off in the wrong direction again. <sighs> right up a hill. I mean, good for the exercise. That's got to be the mindset here. We're building some leg muscles, injuring my face a little bit. <laughs> God, stupid though. Like, I'm just not gonna, not gonna be this dumb in the future. It's not safe. It's not safe. This is very off-road. My maps is letting me down big time. Keep saying there are paths and they just don't exist or they've been grown over. <sighs> but good news. I've just spotted the village that I was aiming for as a stopping place. I don't think you can see it, but it's through those trees. So bun the fucking phone. I'm just gonna go there. Don't think I've ever been so happy to see tarmac. Okay, 
a lot of madness. So this village turns out to not be Terre Rouge, but exactly what I'm looking for. Lovely young people aiming for self-sufficiency stuff, growing their own food, eating together. Just so friendly and lovely and oh can't quite believe stumbled across it but yeah it looks like I'm gonna be able to stay for the night even. Wow. <laughs> Merci adieu. Merci adieu. Donc, c'est en français pour maintenant. C'est trop belle. <laughs> Qu'est-ce qu'on dit? Coincidence. Serendipity en anglais. Mais il y a exactement quoi? Pourquoi je vois? Pourquoi je recherche? Je pense que je vais trouver ça en terre rouge, mais c'est tout de suite ici. Il va laisser moi rester ici pour un mois peut-être peut-être plus mais bien sûr je peux je peux quitter je dois quitter l'Europe assez vite en trois mois donc je pense que je vais essayer je vais rester ici je sens bien parce que je dis que je vais aller au Terre Rouge mais putain je pas peu fait cette montagne c'est trop beaucoup peur mais c'est exactement ça vous prendre le peur, le, le challenge, le difficulté, et le monde arrivait comme ça. C'est parfait, c'est tout le plus parfait parce que ça c'est difficile. Quoi un arbre Mon dieu Elle est belle. Right, so I didn't make it to the destination I was hoping to, but I found exactly what I was looking for, so I think that counts. Uh, I think that's the end of this first first leg of the journey, first chapter, and I guess the next one, next month to come, I'll show you what's been going on here. Can't wait to find out. Peace.